Hello YouTube. This is a video I've been meaning to make for a while, but it took me a while to gather my entire collection as of now. And before you, you see a plethora of uh, different coinage and paper money. The majority of what you see is either actual money. Let me adjust this camera just a little bit, get some height, and tighten it up. There we go. But what you see is a collection of what I've collected over the last five years since the incident. And I've amassed quite a good amount. But the reason behind this video is I received a package a while ago now. And I apologize, K5, for such a late video. But I got a package. I had sent him a couple of cars that he said he liked. And uh, told him that you don't have to send nothing. But if you do would like to send something, I collect coins also and paper money. And uh, he sent me a nice, a very, very nice uh set here and i've kept them in here to keep them all together but look at this now i know a lot of these people watching the videos are subscribed to me or hot wheels collectors and toys maybe but for the most part i collect a little bit of everything and this this was a very very nice send i pulled a bunch of them out retaped them to keep them together i mean there is stuff here old and new some euros some pence that's awesome man i love this it's cool. But, uh, yeah, this is really neat. And he sent me a nice, nice long letter back here, too. But, uh, thanks, man. That is super. And I'm sorry again about the late video, but I uh, had a bunch of stuff going, and I want to make a proper video for this, since this is completely new to my channel. But I also want to uh, show what I have collected so far. It's one of my little baggies. But, uh, start off with down here below and I will try to make this short and sweet got a couple of silver pieces I mean nothing real special these are 100 or 0.999 percent troy ounce silver pieces they probably could go for about 30 or more a piece and then uh let's see what we got here this is a really nice one That's another silver piece. I mean, there's tokens here. And over here in the right-hand corner, we have mostly American. This lot right here is American. Then you got a Canadian stamp. I'm not going to go over every single one except for the really interesting ones. Got a couple of Canadian. These are... Uh, uh, it's not going to zoom for me. But they're 2012 proofs, Canadian pennies. And then over here, we get the really interesting ones. Let's see that's Papua New Guinea then we have uh, where'd it go this one don't say I'm still learning some of my collection we got Australian I mean there's there's all sorts of stuff got Chinese Japanese probably India and then uh, I also collect commemorative things if you notice the blue envelopes here and that I'll show you these are commemorating the 100th anniversary of the Titanic. My case cracked, which is very upset. And there's the gold. It's not real gold. It's uh, plated, as you can see. RMS Titanic. These were commemorative coins they put out last year. I got a set of them. And what fell out? Something too small for you to see, so I'm not going to bother. Uh, another commemorative I did was the see, 150th year from the Civil War. This is the Battle of Gettysburg. Let's see if it'll zoom. My camera does not like to zoom at all. I'm right, bringing it slow. This is a really, really nice piece. Three desperate days. But it comes with a whole bunch of other stuff. I'm not going to cover it because I know this probably ain't going to get... A lot of interesting, but this right here was also a commemorative piece. Come open. There we go. This is the National Parks $2 bill series. And for that, anybody that doesn't know what an old $2 bill looks like, there's the old one. They just colorized them. This one is a uh, Yellowstone. And that one is. The Grand Canyon, these things are absolutely gorgeous. 
Let's see, what is that? National Parks and Sites Series. I only got the two. The rest of them were kind of expensive, so I stopped at the two. We'll come back to them later. And then, let's see. Berthier set. That's a proof set. Uh, two sets each of the D and S. Or P, I'm sorry. For coin collectors out there. Then these are out in some uh, attractions. They are tokens. Like this is the river walk in San Antonio. Then you have the Ripley's, believe it or not, Palace of Wax in San Antonio, Texas. It's a really neat place to go. There's one in uh, Dallas, too. Let's see what did I not show? Oh, and for anybody out there that would just like to send me a random thing, also collect these if you're not familiar with them. Smashed Pennies. <music> Let's just see if my camera will zoom in. Got the 150th anniversary in the Vicksburg National Military Park, Coca Cola Museum, Louisiana Boardwalk, Louisiana. Got the Lord's Prayer. Got a monkey from Rayforth Cafe. Another cafe. And got the Alamo, one I got from my wife, Caldwell Zoo. And then them are arcade tokens. Everyone's arcade we've been to since they're. Becoming rare. Of course, you got Six Flags and just a basic Texan. But then we're pretty neat. That's a cheap souvenir. Got me a little book for them. Then over here, my foreign money collection. What little bit I got so far. That is, I believe, Chinese. Ironically, my birth year. Then we have Bhutan. This one is really cool. Easter Island. Check that out. That thing is like super colorful. Some people, some people think this is fake, but no, it's actual currency. 500 Rongo. Why can't our money look like that? That is awesome. And everybody knows him. Got three of them. This was shortly after the invasion. Five diners. But them were pretty cool. Then got... Of course, two dollar bill. If anybody's not familiar with them, and this is some of our older money. Let's see if I can get in here and get a date. Nineteen thirty-five. That's an old dollar bill. Of course, if anybody knows the blue mark, that's an actual silver certificate, which you could take this and exchange it for a dollar's worth of silver. That was the order ways. And some souvenir pieces. Of course, everybody knows Lord of the Rings. These are pieces you can get off eBay. I think two for a dollar. They make nice little gifts for Christmas or whatnot. And then, I'm sure anybody's been all about this stack over here. That's my poker chip collection. Anytime we go to a town, they have a casino. I usually hop in real quick, play one round of roulette. Just so I can get one of these. I've got a weird little addiction to coins and po tokens and poker chips. But usually one from everywhere we've been to, this is, I don't know why I've got so many of these. And then, never been there, would like, like to go, but that is the Venetian in Vegas. Got that off eBay for a buck. Blue Man Group, can't pass it up. But, uh, 85, that is awesome, man. Really appreciate that. I mean, I love Hot Wheels, but coins I love too. There's neat. I mean, they're they're collectible. That you can fit them inside a shoebox and have years worth of collections. But thanks again, man. Check out his channel. He's an awesome, uh, I guess, a new YouTuber, from what I learned. But his videos are cool. He has some then and nows that are interesting to watch. Show some older cars and some newer castings. Links below. Check it out. Thanks for watching, and sorry for the lengthy vid.